As you're already aware, the BioWare social network forums are now inside of a year going to be closed down. A release was sent out from BioWare outlining their plan. Effective August 26th, we will no longer be able to have access to Dragon Age, Mass Effect, and Legacy BioWare titles in the BSN network. For many of you who've watched my videos and who've helped me really make this channel into a real job and radio show, the BioWare social network has been instrumental in a lot of the success that I've had. I don't know if I would have a show if it wasn't for that ability to directly engage with people that seem to care what I was talking about, even slightly. You know, it's not the most popular way that I've communicated. It's not necessarily my best videos, but it really gave me a lot of the credibility to speak to David Gator, Patrick Weeks, all the voice actors, most of the Bioware team, and then, of course, your support once you've seen these videos and these interviews and really enjoying it and compelling me to feel as if I'm doing something right. As for the decision, I <laughs> withhold judgment but would say that Bioware games, in my estimation, are about inclusion. They're about creating realistic human things. They are able to very easily personify complex ideas and conceits into people. Something that's hard for us really to understand can be put into a person's goals really, really expertly done. It gives us the chance to see for the very first time someone of your specific gender identity just living in a world. It gives us for, and sometimes the very first time, the ability to experience a forbidden love in some way that isn't scorned upon. So it, it's about inclusion. It's about building something real. And I think a chief component of that is the idea of communication. So many of you who are watching and listening ardently defend these created stories. And the fact that that will be lost in an official capacity is deeply saddening. But the deeper concern, the, the thing that hits me more in where I live, is that we won't have that connection with developers. And there's always bad signs to this. You remember David Gator back in 2013 said that spending too much time at the BSN forums starts to make me feel negative, not just about games we make, but about myself and life in general. So there is a toxicity that has to do with this groupthink mentality. But every developer I speak to, every real company that does this for a living, stresses the importance of that communication, that direct line with the fans that they know will buy anything they make and want to have the best experience they can. Now in this press release that Bioware sent out, they do address this saying, we can now travel around the world meeting with you face to face at events like PAX, CDC, and uh, even shows in our own backyard. We can share stories with you on the go, giving you a look behind the scenes on sites like Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram. In turn, you've built your own fantastic communities in places like Tumblr and Reddit, You've created comprehensive wikis and countless pieces of fantastic art, fiction, and cosplay. With so many great things so widely available, our developers today find themselves spending more time on other sites and less time in our own forums. And to our fans and players who came to those boards looking to talk to us, it was a great disservice. Interesting premise. The idea that we're not having that connectivity because it's not as popular it's kind of their fault, I guess. It's not really something that the fan base could control. So I think it is with a heavy heart that they've made this decision. I think it is an incorrect decision for the people that really enjoy this. And uh, personally, I do think that it's concerning. I'm worried that this is a fulcrum for what this company is choosing to be now from the most inclusive, interesting, exciting, innovative video game companies uh, I've ever had the pleasure of playing the games and speaking with to something a little more less in some ways. Now as for thank yous, I first came to this community, I remember, 
accidentally reading the end of Mass Effect 2, which was put in some of the headline titles of this. So I've been there for a while. I was here, the first interviews I did with the retake Mass Effect people from Mass Effect 3, some of the very first interviews I did on Dragon Age, and of course a lot of the Dragon Age videos that I was able to post to have a mainline to people that actually cared about what I had to do to be able to talk to developers as a result. These people here ingratiated this strange deep voice fool into a community that spoke the same language. So I want to thank you all very, very deeply from the bottom of my heart for that inclusion. And I hope that wherever all of these like-minded people choose to lay their heads, they find that level of inclusion because I would hate to see this community go merely because the creators of it, the facilitators, don't have the ability to keep up. Bioware will keep going on. The BSN network might not, but I hope that in the next little while you can still see more content, still see the support, and still be an active part of at least what I'm doing. Keyless Alive.